Well, we've concluded actions for the 7th of June, 1944. Um, as you can see, Omaha is clear. So supply and reinforcements are arriving without any issue. There's no German air power. They really don't have much in the way of artillery here, you know, in this Omaha sector, the center sector here. And I've learned after playing this last uh, turn that they really don't have any offensive capability. These static coastal defense units um, are just, they, they just got nothing. And the two units they did have that were somewhat formidable were just two, two Stug battalions or whatever, companies, battalions, whatever they were, and they're gone. They got smoked because the Allied armor and the first ID focused on them. Um, you'll notice that I placed all of the, the tank units, the armor units, other than the tank destroyer units that came on. I sent them over with 29th. Um, I focused them on, um, or with the first ID. I figure the Germans don't get any reinforcements to turn eight. It's not a lot, but it's some powerful SS units. Uh, they're Alfklar units, uh, reconnaissance units, but they're pretty powerful. They're stronger than these tank units are, that's for sure. They're going to be coming on. And with the road march, they'll be able to get down here to the front almost immediately. So I said, well, let's focus our drive with first ID and try to just shatter as much of this as we can. And actually done quite well. The casualty stack, as you can see, sitting over here for the 352nd. Uh, the shot, the Schutzen unit that came on, a couple of bicycle units there, and most of the, the uh, nests, the coastal nests are gone. So they've, uh, First ID's done their thing. They've taken a few casualties. The Rangers have taken the most, and then three or four DD tank units, they sunk in the channel, trying to get to the beaches. So, all right, so I would say initial successes have been with the Allies. But for some reason, I want to say Omaha was a tough fight. I really need to read more about D-Day. I mean, I understand the basics of D-Day and what happened, but uh, I, if I'm wrong, somebody tell me if, if, if Omaha was the, wasn't something to do with the, the, the water, the waves, or the weather, something like that made Omaha the worst, or maybe it was Utah, I don't remember, but uh, I always thought Omaha was more of a struggle than what I have found it to be here with this. But then again, good die rolls with artillery, the naval guns, providing good support. Um, the initial air power was decent. Uh, the last couple, I don't know, they're kind of 50-50 on their air power. They, they've helped in some places. So I elected, since the Allies only get one command point, to focus with the first ID and these support elements that are with them, moving along with them. So, And the 29th ID over to the right, going over to help the Ranger with Point to Hawk and clear up that side. Of the of the beach of the landing area or this zone on map B, um, they're going to be static for a little while here. So I need to. I like I say I want to break this up over here as much as possible. With first ID in this armor while I have it. Uh, German major reinforcements. They won't see any till turn ten, which will be on the 9th of June. It looks like in the PM turn. So, and the fight may change then, depending on how far the Allies have gotten. I got a feeling that uh, those units that come in for the Germans on the 10th turn are mostly SS and Fallschirmjäger units. They're going to be probably impromptu attacks or plugging holes. Although, with the German forces on the board right now, I don't know <laughs> if even those SS or Fallschirmjäger units come on. If it, if it keeps going the way it is for the Germans, there's going to be, you know, they're going to have enough troops to plug all the, all the holes that are going to be on this map. The only thing that the axe has got worrying, working for them is that swamp land over there that pretty much goes all the way to the bottom edge of the map. Um, but if there's no focused fighting going on with 29th ID, plus I got 2nd infantry Division has arrived. Now, for those of you that play SCS or, or maybe are going to play SCS, when you have the command point system in the game, you use the command points to activate formations. Unit or Formations that don't get activated, they can still move. And they can still barrage, which is kind of confusing because if you have organic artillery to a formation and the formation is not activated, the organic artillery has to have a spotter from their formation. So I don't know how they can barrage if you don't know that. And then, of course, you got 
non-banded units, which uh, pretty much, well, to an extent, they operate independently. So, but you got to pay attention to those, especially in this game here with non-banded and banded units. There's special rules for those non-banded units. But yeah, as you can see it there, seven, and we're done with the 7th of June. And the first ID is already pushed into the first river beyond Omaha Beach. And don't think they're going to stop. think they're going to continue their drive on this next uh, turn or two. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's get this posted so you can see how Omaha Beach is progressing. Talk to you soon.